a concussion, but you don't have to be hit that hard to damage your brain. There was something called a sub-concussive hit. A hit hard enough to do damage, but not actually knock you out. Well, there are about 400,000 high school and college players that have a concussion every year, and researchers looking for better ways to evaluate the brain injury. The lining in each of the blood vessels in your brain prevents harmful molecules from getting in, but when a player is hit hard, the barrier is breached. Cells can then go into the brain and can attack brain tissue, similar to what happens with Alzheimer's patients. Right now, Zach's brain is intact.